that I am here. So welcome everybody and thank you for your patience. I mean, really, we shouldn't be surprised because after the last few years that we've had and culminating in this pandemic, we can't uh, really, we shouldn't expect anything more than, uh, than what we've been seeing. <laughs> so um, welcome finally to Highest Pennsylvania's annual Golden Door Awards. Please join us um, as we talk about the great work that's been done. Um, I wanted to start by introducing our event and how it works, but I think by now you've all figured that out, so that's good. So now that we're all settled in and watching, here's the order of events. Um, well, we had an order. It was gonna be a video of dancers who met our Dancing Around the World challenges. Then uh, some short opening remarks from me, which I will give, then dig into introducing our wonderful honorees, announcing our inaugural Clasco Scholarship Award winners, introducing some of our wonderful staff and ending the evening with a live Q&A with the Director of Refugee Resettlement, Rona Buchhalter, and Managing Attorney, Philip Weiss. So because of all these technical difficulties, what we're doing instead is making available all of the videos that we were going to show, which we urge you to please watch on your own time because they're well worth it. They're not very long. They're like two minutes or three minutes a piece. Um, and I am going to give my remarks. And then um, I'm hoping, I'm still a little hopeful that we'll be able to get some questions and answers from Rona and Philip, but we'll see when I get to the end of my remarks. So it's odd sitting here in my gala finery laughing at all of the technical difficulties that we've had when there's so much suffering happening all around us. Uh, we can't turn away from it, nor should we. While no one created this virus or intentionally unleashed it, we know that the virus has caused triple the damage that it might have because of the systems of inequality, discrimination, and injustice that have been a part of our country since its founding. But the dissonance between the joyous music and dancing that I hope you'll see later tonight when you watch the videos and the suffering that we work every day to ameliorate need not be incompatible. The irretrievable wrong of slavery did not suffocate the rightness of the ideal that all persons are created equal. And so tonight, while we mourn those lost to the epidemic and scramble to bring food, healthcare access, and financial relief to those impoverished by our government's policies, we take a moment to celebrate the joy that working to realize our ideals brings. We want to thank our sponsors, including Devira Siegel and Bradley Bridge. Devira's birthday is today. Happy birthday, Devira. Citizens Bank, Carol Thompson, Ballard Spar, the Ash Family Foundation, Sandy Moses and Claire Kahn, and Dan and Sh Sheila Siegel, among many others. They're listed on our website, so I hope you'll scroll down and see who our major supporters are. They have enabled us to keep the work going as all of you have. And we honor all of you who help bring us just a little closer to the justice that we fight for every day. So to begin the night, I wanted to start by taking a moment to ask what have been some silver linings to time during the pandemic? Share your answers in the chat box and I'll read some of them. So I'm still waiting for an answer to that question. What are your silver linings during the pandemic? Okay. All right. So Ann Cohen, a board member, says opportunity to volunteer with the city, uh, bringing 
Um, and then my screen is refreshing. So now I lost the rest of the uh, silver lining statement. So we'll come back to those. So meantime, um, when I asked our first honoree, Yesenia Guillen, that same question, she, she responded, there aren't many silver linings, but one of the good things for me is the challenge of taking my business in a new direction. It's been a learning experience, learning how to do something that I wasn't sure I could do and having to do something that I've never had to before business-wise. Looking forward, this might be a more permanent thing than temporary. And as you can see from her video, which is available on our website, she is quite impressive. Um, some other responses that I got, getting to meet and interact with a host of people I wouldn't normally meet, catching up with people I haven't talked to in ages, more time with family. Um, okay. So um, Yesenia is a shining example of the benefits immigrants bring to our community. But now I have another question for all of you. What does it mean to be truly welcoming? Keep putting those great answers in the box and inspiring each other. Our next honorees, Citizens Bank, shows how a business can be welcoming to newcomers in our community. And you really must um, watch the video because it's really amazing to hear about the things that Citizens Bank does for our clients, um, things that many of you may not have even realized. Um, okay. So uh, Marty Tusman is raising a glass to highest PA and to all of us. Thank you so much, Marty. Um, all right. And I'm still waiting for answers to that question. What does it mean to be truly welcoming? Um, let me see. Um, and I got one really beautiful answer. Um, it's a great pleasure working with Highest PA and supporting immigrants and refugees. Um, and she shared a translation of a poem from a famous Persian poet named Romi. And I've actually heard of him. Um, Human beings are members of a whole in creation of one essence and soul. If one member is affected with pain, other members uneasy will remain. If you've no sympathy for human pain, the name of human you cannot retain. That is really beautiful. And I very much appreciate uh, your sharing this with us. I think that pretty much says it all in terms of what it means to be truly welcoming. So now um, my last question, what does it mean to take action for immigrants and refugees? I love all of our supporters because you're always ready to take action. And we have close to 200 supporters who've joined us, which is really an awesome number. So, um, and the one that really um, exhibits what it means to really take action is of course our final honoree, Deborah Gross. Um, I again, urge you to watch the video. Deborah Gross is a phenomenal person, an amazing lawyer and a fabulous supporter of Highest Pennsylvania. Deborah really came out uh, swinging. She was chancellor of the Bar Association in 2017. Um, and as you learn from the video, you'll see all that she did um, even weeks before she officially became chancellor because she knew that our community would suffer a great deal under this president and she wanted to be prepared um, she, excuse me, she wanted to be prepared uh, to, to be there for the most vulnerable in our community. So definitely um, look at the video and just like me, be in awe of all the fabulous things that she has done. Um, okay, so um, Deborah's work shows the impact our community can make when we work together, something we need to do today more than ever before. We're so proud of our wonderful honorees and the way they have stepped up for immigrants, but there are still many immigrants left in free fall due to the crisis. So that's why if you look below the video on the webpage and I see that many of you already have, 
we're raising money for immigrants who've been left out of the government's relief plan. Throughout the night, we've been trying to raise $20,000, and I'm proud to share that we met our goal woo, to help individuals who lack safety nets and provide case management for immigrants to navigate this new world. Um, so we hope you'll help us exceed our goal uh, by the end of the night. Thank you to all those who've already donated, as well as those who are volunteering to help our clients. You can sign up to deliver groceries and other necessities to our most vulnerable clients by going to www.highspa.org backslash volunteer. And finally, one of the wonderful things in addition to our honorees is awarding the Clasco scholarships. Ron Clasco, a fabulous uh, attorney who's been a great supporter of Highest PAs and a past board member, um, he came to us, he said, one of our greatest resources is our young people. They're a wealth of creativity and promise. And he was really, um, really intent on uh, making sure that our, that our young uh, immigrants and refugees had the leg that they needed to be successful as adults. Um, so we have a video below, uh, both about Ron and the people that we honored um, with scholarships. There were two scholarship window winners which were selected, who were selected after um, a competitive process. And we also have a video of a song written by one of our immigrant youth um, in collaboration with World Cafe Live. You should listen to the song. It's really fun and easy to sing along to. So as the videos, um, both of the two youth who won the scholarships and, in, and of um, the youth who wrote the song, Letitia, um, show our youth are completely amazing. It's because of them that we were able to unveil this new scholarship program for highest Pennsylvania clients. Um, and of course, because of Ron Clasco's support. Um, Letitia, uh, one of the winners, reads one of her poems. And so you can look at her uh, video of her reading a poem. That's also on the web page. And finally, we just want to thank you all for joining us uh, in this gala. Um, we are so amazed uh, that you were really willing to just jump on and uh, try out this new environment and um, deal with the technical difficulties and be patient with all of us and send your absolutely fabulous and supportive uh, messages. And I guess the good news is we're ending earlier than we planned uh, <laughs> because we're not allowed, we're not able to do all the things that we wanted to do. Um, and the even better news is that we did, in our own virtual way, get to spend the night together. Um, so Highest PA and its 138 years will continue. And, uh, you know, at Passover, we say next year in Jerusalem. And so tonight we say next year in person. Thank you all and have a great night.
I see that a lot of people are still with us. I did forget um, to tell you to see the video of our board president, Garrel Gantman, who also made some remarks. So look at that as well. You can space out the videos, watch all week. It'll be an entire week of Highest Pennsylvania's Golden Door Awards, a silver lining to the pandemic. Thank you again.